Here we are at the Birch Run Gun Show Expo Center. It's right off of uh, I-75, exit 136, Birch Run, Michigan. I do, I got him. The only man that will not compromise our Second Amendment rights. I've been side waving for too many cold days. Rod Paul 2008. So, Rand Paul says that they they have uh, uh, So I'm standing in the lobby with about 25 of us. I'm standing in the lobby. By the time lunch, how's it going Kevin Miss Liberty <laughs> well this is it folks we're down just a few more days for our primary and we hope to make Michigan number one for Ron Paul here We have people all the way down the street there marching for Ron Paul. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's like they're heading out. They're all through there after they work. I don't think Jace is going that far. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday here at the Bertrand Gun Show, they have a uh, they have booths, very large, about 700 tables inside the Expo Center, where people sell guns, mostly guns, some camouflage items, and a few knives and stuff like that. So all the cars that are coming in, they are coming here to you know buy and sell guns or just walk around and look around. At the same time, they're being exposed to the name of Ron Paul. Probably about 30 to 34 degrees out here today. Of course, we have mentioned at the start of this revolution that we would not let anything stop us. Throughout different parts of Michigan, whether it was in Saginaw, Bay City, or Midland, we have stood while the snow was coming down on us. It was freezing, but this is revolutionary, ladies and gentlemen. All the other candidates could even pay for support like this. Paul sign up in the air January the 15th now everybody that lives here in Michigan that is the date today Saturday this coming Tuesday January the 15th do not forget this date this date is very important this is the date that we will vote for Ron Paul and nominate him to be our United States president January the 15th embed it into your head get your friends and family out there to vote Everybody that can legally vote here in Michigan needs to vote. We will stress that over and over.